Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for liking. Thank you for continuously supporting us and subscribing to our channel. Please continue with your support. I really do appreciate. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your post notification, and feel free to suggest anything you want me to react to down below. Just give me the name or the link, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. So today I'm going to be reacting to the story of three Christian priests accepting Islam. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. 1. Samuel Earl, United States Former pastor Samuel Earl, who now lives in Saudi Arabia, said living amongst the kingdom's good people and witnessing their hospitality and good morals majorly contributed to his decision to become Muslim. Samuel Earl first traveled to Jeddah in 2012 to work as an editor for a new translation of the Holy Quran. At first he was rare and full of hesitation due to the negative portrait of the Muslims by the media in the United States, but later he realized that the reality was completely different from what he had seen in the media. The kindness, hospitality and amity he experienced alongside his work on Quran encouraged him to learn more about the religion and further convinced them to embrace Islam. While working on the translation of the Quran, Shropshire had so many questions and sought to find their answers, he said in the video. He was impressed by how the Islamic holy book holds Jesus Christ and Virgin Mary at a high regard. He added that while living in Jeddah, he was moved by the calls to prayer and the sight of the worshippers at a nearby mosque. My heart longed to be in that mosque. I felt compelled by God to go there, he said. Months later, he mustered the courage to visit the mosque, where he felt God's presence and gradually started learning more about the religion. He converted to Islam soon after and has been a devoted Muslim preacher ever since. He holds a doctorate of theology degree and has dedicated his life to non-profit causes. He has worked in the fields of human rights and peacemaking, including lobbying the American, Canadian and British governments, as well as the United Nations. He is also the founder of non-profit organization Muslim Voice for Peace and Reconciliation, which brings Muslims together to promote world peace, human rights, justice and religious reconciliation. 2. Idris Tafiq, United Kingdom Former Catholic priest Idris Tafik is classically trained in a sacred theology from the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas in Rome. Idris was a devout Catholic priest. Feeling lonely and unfulfilled, he decided to leave priesthood and pursue a career in teaching religious studies. Inspired by the Muslim children in his class and forced to teach Islam in lessons, Idris fell in love with the religion and all it had to offer. After a brief encounter with the use of Islam, he took the leap of faith and became a Muslim. He says, one day I headed to the biggest mosque in London to hear more about this religion. Getting into London's central mosque, there was Yusuf Islam, the former pop singer, sitting in a circle talking to some people about Islam. After a while, I found myself asking him, what do you actually do to become a Muslim? He answered, that a Muslim should believe in one God, pray five times a day, and fast during Ramadan. I interrupted him saying that I believe all this and I had even fasted during Ramadan. So he asked, what are you waiting for? What is holding you back? I said, no, I don't intend to convert. At that moment, the call to prayer was made and everyone got ready and stood in lines to pray. I sat at the back and I cried and cried and I said to myself, Who am I trying to fool? After their prayers, I headed to Yusuf Islam, asking them to teach me the words by which I announce my conversion. After explaining its meaning to me in English, I recited after him in Arabic that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I couldn't hold back my tears. He then went on to become the director of the Postgraduate Research Center at Al-Fatih Islamic Institute in Damascus. A lecturer 
at the world-renowned Islamic institution Al-Azhar University in Cairo, and a regular contributor to several established online Islamic forums. Idris is author to many books aimed at inviting others to Islam and teaching Muslims how to make their religion accessible and understandable to others. He is also a dynamic public speaker. 3. Vyacheslav Polosin, Russia Archpriest Vyacheslav Polosin, a priest of the Kalago Diocese Leva of Absence, who now heads the Administration of Committee on Relations with Public Association and Religious Organizations of the State Duma of the Russian Federation, has converted to Islam. I decided to bring my social status into line with my convictions, Polosin declared, and to testify publicly that I consider myself an adherent of the great tradition of the true faith of the prophets of monotheism, beginning with Abraham. And thus, I do not consider myself a priest nor a member of any Orthodox Church. At the same time, Vyacheslav Polosin recited the Shahada, testifying to his acceptance of Islam. There is no God besides the one God, Allah, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, as his messenger. Vyacheslav Polosin considers that the final revelation on earth is the Holy Quran sent down to the Prophet Muhammad, and he categorically disagrees with those who, for some reason, consider that the Arabic text of the Holy Quran is alien to the Russian mentality. In his interview with the journal Musliman, Vyacheslav Polosin subjected to sharp criticized the Christian, and especially the Orthodox tradition. In his opinion, Christianity contains an assimilation of the Creator God to His creation man, which is anthropomorphism. For centuries there have existed meditators, fathers and teachers, who while not prophets have spoken in the name of God. Vyacheslav Polson said about the Christian cult of saints. And this practice has so become the norm in the church that it is difficult for the laity to escape it, and for one in the position of a priest it is impossible, according to Vyacheslav. His wife completely shares his choice of ward view. Among Muslims who had influence on this choice, the former Orthodox clergyman identified Jadar and Jamal and reported that the stories of Holy Kaaba and the Hajj made a great impression on him. May Allah accept them and forgive their shortcomings. What I seem to love sometimes about such videos is the fact that yes, people have found something that's true to them, something that is peaceful and all that, but also the fact that someone of higher power, someone that society may have considered to have higher power is actually reverting to Islam. You're not too big to learn something. You're not too powerful of a leader to learn something about another thing. These are all established priests that have been uh, spoken about, that have converted to Islam. Of course, their journey may not be yours, but it was a time to go through this phase. Everyone has a phase that they go through, and this is what happened at the end of the day. And I'm really happy that they took up this journey and they're not afraid to show the world or tell the world how things have been, especially acknowledging the fact I love the one question of what do I have to do to become Muslim and the person responds by saying just believe in the one God Allah. That's a very powerful statement. Um, let me know what you guys actually think about this video. Any contributions to um, anything that you had in this video is always welcome. Otherwise, I'm very, very happy to have come across this video. And happy that I heard what was said here. Feel free to comment. Feel free to suggest anything for me to react to. Give me the name, the link down below. And I'll be sure to check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.